Hi! So this is my first Follow Me video and as I promised today we're going to um, Exeter's Pride event. So I just got out of the shower, washed my hair, shaved, everywhere. Um, oh, and I, I kind of done my nails last night. Um, I'm not too sure what I think of the colour at the moment but oh well so I'm gonna get moisturised and get my face on, well get dressed then get my face on and I'll see you shortly. So um, finally managed to get myself dressed, uh, three pairs of tights later um, they kept laddering the first pair, my thumb went straight through and I've just realised I have fucking chipped my thumbnail. So yeah, the first pair, my thumb went through. The second pair, I noticed a fucking great big ladder up the side of my leg. So I'm now on pair number three. But anyway, that's my face. <sighs> so yeah, we're now ready to go. We're just waiting for our lift into Exeter. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in Exeter. So here we are. This is the start of the, um, of the parade, of the march. So, so far we've got some Morris dancers just over there, which is fun. That's Gabby, that's Andy, that's the back of Catherine. <laughs> so they're just kind of getting ready now with the with the 50 foot long flag just out on the uh, main street, out on Zippo Street. So we're gonna go and get in line somewhere and uh, we'll record some more in a moment. So that lady doesn't actually really need a megaphone. She's loud. And as you can see, just going past now, we've got um, the Samba Band, which is Street Heat. They'll be marching up front uh, and making a stop every two seconds. Hello! <laughs> Whilst they perform, um, which will be good. So yeah, there's uh, quite a few of them still coming down. Right, so this is one end of the flag. It's a 50 foot long flag. So it kind of runs. Somewhere down there, I don't know if you saw that. Um, I'll try and get a better shot of it at some point. <laughs> right, so I'm now at the top end of the flag, so I'm gonna try and just show you down the length of it. Yeah, so that's a, it's a 50 foot long rainbow flag um, and that gets trundled down the whole of the street, um, which is fun, yeah.
she's the only one that's anything like Brighton-esque, which is awesome. We need more like her. So it turns out that it's free comic book day today as well. So in the shopping centre where my shop is, uh, we have a DeLorean. Which is pretty cool. Let's do a quick walk around. That is pretty smart, I like that. And then just up the way, outside the comic book shop. <coughs> oh, we have a Spider-Man. And then other kind of superheroes and comic book people that I don't recognize at all, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. He's scary. Oh no, he's coming to get us. Quick, run. So here we are now at the entrance to the fried market. Let's go take a little look around, shall we? So yeah, this is the uh, the Pride Market. We've got H U K uh, drink well. We've got Fox, which is good. That's that's Fox. It's one of my boys. Yeah. So I'm gonna go and have a look around, and if I see anything interesting, I will come back and show you. So I've just come across the uh, Lawrence and Vice Bureau Road, which is uh, the gender clinic here in Exeter. Um, these are the people who I'm waiting to go and see. They have a 10 month waiting list, which is fun. Um, yeah, so they're just struggling with their, their table at the moment. And then next door, we've got LGBT Transaction. They're a support group here in Exeter. Um, and they're kind of just trying to push the awareness of LGBT, more so towards the, the trans uh, area of the community. Um, they also host some evening events as well where people can get together um, drink coffee, drink tea, and just have a chat about um, how they're getting on with their transitions. So before we take a little break <laughs> and sit down, my feet are killing me in these <laughs> shoes. My tights have bunched, they're ripped to shreds. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think this through. <laughs> oh dear, but she's finding it hilarious, so it's all good. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, I think it's going to be time to go home soon because I need to get these, these tights off and these shoes off and we're going to go and pick up a little barbecue and have some barbecue food and maybe a couple of drinks, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to do a quick kind of show you the rest of the market briefly from my little perch here because we found another little area. So, yeah. <laughs> so there's like some sort of drumming going on over there. They've just set those drums up. Um, and there's like more market stalls down there. Vegan food, there's a bouncy castle down the bottom. Um, and, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he loves me really. That's my other half. Say hello. Uh, yeah, he's Scottish, don't mind him. <laughs> so yeah, this is the rest of the fried market. Uh, yeah, that's my little girl. And that's my big boy. You made that sound good. My eldest boy. Okay. There we go. It's fine, you can edit it later. I. We can edit, we can edit, it's fine. 
So we're back home and we're barbecuing. So yeah, it's only little uh, disposable barbecues, but everyone else has gone in to make salad whilst I'm left to cook the meat. I had to get changed because I was just so uncomfortable. My feet were absolutely killing me. Um, my tights had all ripped and I was just feeling rubbish. So I've, I've uh, changed <laughs> into something a bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, but it was a nice day and it was good to see some of my children turn up as well to support me, which was lovely. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get our beer on, have a barbecue and Enjoy the rest of the day because it's a beautiful day here. Um, yeah, anyway, um, there might be more later. I don't know, it depends how the evening goes. Um, but yeah. Oh dear. So we called it a day quite early. Um, oh. My feet hurt. Um, although it wasn't a massively like, it was only like an inch hill, it wasn't much. Um, I've got an infected toenail, um, so that was quite painful to walk on all day, so hey-ho. Um, yeah, one of the girls had just done a night shift that we were with today, so she's absolutely shattered, so they've gone home now. Um, I'm gonna have a couple more drinks, I think, this evening, whilst I watch Britain's Got Talent. Um, yeah, it was nice, it was a good day. Um, met up with uh, a couple of other trans women, which was lovely. Uh, got one of those added on Facebook now, so we're gonna get and get our chat on, which would be nice. Um, I've taken my face off because I was basically melting. Um, and where I kind of wiped my nose a few times, it was just like patches where there was no makeup left. So I need to find a way of properly setting my makeup so it doesn't slide and come off. I thought, having um, having the, the powder to, to set the makeup was gonna help that, but it actually hasn't really helped a great deal. So um, advice please, ladies, let me know what you use to properly set your makeup so it doesn't go sliding off your face halfway through the day. As always guys, if you found this video uh, useful, informative or entertaining in any way, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my latest antics and all my latest videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for, for viewing my videos and for subscribing. It means the world to me. Having that acceptance and knowing that people out there um, accept me, it really does mean the world to me. So for now guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys, love you all, bye.